Thank you for joining us, Edward. You've been appointed as an authorized advisor and representative of the Nairobi Securities Exchange Growth Enterprise Market Segment. What job is cut out for you under this role? Uh, so we've been appointed and, and licensed by the Stock Exchange to bring companies, um, primarily SMEs, um, high growth, mid-size businesses in Kenya um, to the market, to IPO here and become public companies. And our role really is to make sure uh, that they're appropriate for the markets here and they're appropriate for listed equities investors um, because they, they can be earlier stage businesses um, growing very quickly but, but um, in a relatively early stage of, of their business life. And so it's very important that somebody's making a judgment on whether um, they are appropriate for public investors. SMEs in Kenya experience a myriad of challenges, one of it being high financing costs. What opportunities will the SME segment provide for SMEs in Kenya? It presents another option to SMEs in Kenya. Uh, at the moment, really, the only options are bank debt, um, which is, well, expensive, relatively. Certainly last year, anyway, it's come down a lot, but that just indicates how volatile it can be. Um, they can't, at present, they, they struggle to access the main market listings in Nairobi for various reasons. It's quite expensive, for one, to, to list on the main market in Nairobi. It's a higher regulatory requirement, um, and therefore it's, it's extremely exciting that it presents SMEs with, with another way to access capital, public equity capital, um, to add to bank debt, and increasingly private equity, actually. Private equity has sort of taken up the mantle in Nairobi because listed equities haven't really provided a source of capital to SMEs. But it's nice from our point of view advising companies that there's another option to, to private equity and bank debt now. Which are some of the firms you hope to have listed under this segment? Financial businesses selling financial products to consumers, telecoms, um, pharmaceuticals, basically any consumer driven products. So I think that, that's, the, that's the first thing. The, the second sector, which I think is going to be very big in time on GEMS, is the natural resources sector. Um, so mining and oil and gas companies, which are very much hitting the press more and more here in Kenya and across East Africa. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing increasing exploration success here, and people want to get exposure to that. Um, combined with that, GEMS doesn't have a profitability requirement like the main market does. You know, for the main market, you have to have been profitable. Um, and for exploration firms, that's basically out of the question. You know, as a general rule, that's not their business model. They, don't, they, they go and spend money, they develop assets. Um, and if they hit and, and they do develop resources and reserves, the share price generally goes up and it's a very good investment. And finally, Edward, what advice do you have for local firms hoping to grow their capital base? You know, do your homework. Go and speak, speak to NSE. They have lots of information on, on, um, on the GEMS market. Come and speak to us. The advisors are, are there's ourselves and, and three others who've been licensed. Um, you know, come and speak to them. They, they are now the licensed experts on the market. So come and speak to us. Um, and generally, you know, but keep running your business and keep it growing. The important thing for investors, particularly into a growth market like GEMS, is they see a good growth profile of revenue and profitability. So, so focus on the business first and foremost. Um, you know, a and it takes quite a lot of preparation to get a business ready for IPO and to be appropriate for public investors. You know, the accounts, legal documentation all has to be in extremely good order.